Good morning. Today, I want to talk about, I want to have a conversation with you guys about cash flow versus getting rich. One of the things that I consistently see here on the internet is all of this getting rich, or I should say affirmations. I, I consistently see it in the comments. Everyone that reads this comment, I hope you'll be successful. And that's good, but there is no real pathway from that comment to how to make money, how to build a business. There, there, there's nothing. It's just feel good platitudes. And I feel that you shouldn't focus on getting rich. I feel you should focus on creating value. And this is lost in this conversation that I'm seeing all over the internet with people who are getting into the money making space, like literally half. I, I, I watch a lot of ads and I consistently see you don't have to change. You don't have to do much. You don't have to build a website. You don't have to do any of these things that have been proven to make money statistically and historically proven to make money. You don't have to do this. Just plug into our system and Many of them are saying, you don't have to do no work. Just spend, oh, you know, whatever amount of money and plug into our system and you're going to get paid. And this is hypnotizing people and leading people to what I consider bad outcomes. So instead of saying, I'm going to be a millionaire, say, I'm going to build a company that is going to serve customers better than they've ever been served before. And this will ensure, cause see, wealth is a byproduct of service. So if there's service and value creation there, the money will come. But I see people going after, straight after the money. I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna be a, million, a billionaire. And every time I hear someone talking about, I'm gonna be a future billionaire, I start laughing. You know how hard it is to become a billionaire? You got to make a thousand million. I forget what it is, but it's a lot of money. And all of this talk of being a billionaire, millionaire. I got a video on Savage Finance where most millionaires don't have no cash. The majority of millionaires, there's 18.6 millionaires in the United States. The majority of them would be hard pressed to raise six figures cash without having to sell something. And if their wealth is predicated in real estate, they would have to borrow, therefore creating debt to raise cash because they don't have any cash. And this is why cash flow is more important than being a millionaire. If you can get your cash flow high, you can outspend these asset based millionaires. Once again, this is like, I show you guys receipts. I show you the title, I show you the ATM receipts and people are finding that to be unusual that I have a hundred thousand dollars in my personal checking account. They're finding that to be unusual. They're finding out that to be unusual cause see even millionaires are not paying cash for their cars. Even millionaires don't have a hundred K in their personal checking account. So let's kind of dispense with this millionaire talk and let's get down to business, building durable, long-term sustainable businesses that create generous cash flow week after week, month after month, year after year. Let's do that because frankly, I'm tired of the millionaire feel good talk because this is one of the things that, what is the point in being a millionaire when you got to finance a car? So you get the best interest rates. So you get tier one financing. You're still spending more money 
than if you had paid cash for a depreciating asset. What, what, what's the point? Like, it, next time I see a millionaire talking about I'm a millionaire, but I'm financing, I'm buying cars, and they don't have a robust business model, I'm just gonna start laughing. Because I paid cash for my first BMW before I was a millionaire. This is how cash flow is way more important than getting rich. Cash flow, creating an asset that spins off cash versus being on the internet, being on the gram, being on the clubhouse. I am seeing stuff that, you know, because I'm educated, I'm financially literate and I'm educated in business and I'm seeing people on Clubhouse talking about their nine figure earners. And I'm on like, and I will go to this person's page and I'll follow them and I will listen to them talk. And I'm just sitting there. I don't see the organizational skills to create a hundred million dollar business. And I'm just like, people are just hyping up on nine figure or eight figure and they're, they're talking about it, but when it comes down to actually doing business, and when you Google these guys, you cannot find their business. You cannot find their business. So I'm gonna tell you something. If you've got a nine figure business, you're making a hundred million, there should be re references. That should be e something that you can easily Google. You should be able to find this. A hundred million dollars is a lot of damn money. You should be able to, but you cannot find, the only thing you can find when you Google these people is their social media references. Or some cases you'll find their websites and I'll, I'll, back, I'll, I'll back check their website and their traffic's not, their website's not getting enough traffic to support those kind of sales. And I just see all of this fantasy this pushing like I'm a millionaire I'm this I'm this I'm this with no real conversation on how to start a business it's laughable so you need to be focusing on creating a business creating cash flow and being profitable that's what you need to focus on let all of this millionaire bullshit go Cause it's bullshit. It is 100% bullshit and 99% of the people that I hear talk about it. And you know, um, <clears throat> at the end of the day, and I'm gonna put this to you. What is the point in being a millionaire when you gotta live like an average person? You still gotta finance your house even though you are a millionaire. You still gotta finance cars even though you're a millionaire because you can, or you gotta sell something to raise cash. What is the point of being a millionaire so you can like pat yourself on the back, I'm a millionaire? What's the point? Cash flow is more important. Building a business, being a skilled operator of your business is more important than quote, being a millionaire. And right now, there are people who are running businesses with good cash flow, who are not millionaires, who have more cash money in the bank than so-called millionaires. Right now, we're in a certain trajectory because I see more stimulus packages coming out of this Congress because they've got two years to push their agenda through and the economy is still kind of, you know, messed up. So what we're going to see is a rocky economy. And for those with cash, not assets, but cash money in the bank are gonna be able to seize these opportunities. Uh, Bill Ackerman, who's a hedge fund guy, deployed 26.7 million cash and turned it into $2.6 billion. If he didn't have the cash, he wouldn't have been able to take, uh, take you know, advantage of the opportunity. He had the cash. 
all of this, you know, credit, credit is great, but there are some times that your credit's going to let you down because you're going to want to do something and you're not going to have enough credit to do it or you're not going to have the ability to borrow that much money. I'm in a situation. I am, and this is why I got to get my cash flow higher. I'm going, I'm not just saying this, I'm not just talking to you, I'm talking to me. I want to buy a 10 million, 15, 20 million dollar apartment complex. And currently my cash flow isn't where it needs to be for me to pull that off. The way that I want to pull it off. I feel that I could probably finagle or finesse my way into it with a huge amount of debt, which may happen because right now I'm looking into it and I'm starting to reach out. I'm starting to talk to people and we're gonna see what happens in the future, but it is my intention in the next four years to put myself in the position to buy a 10, 15, $20 million apartment complex because I want a nicer one and to ensure that I can have passive income of a million a year. And that, that's my goal, that's where I'm at. And once again, just like I'm talking to you, I'm, I know I'm gonna need, if I finance it, and it's a, uh, cause I'm gonna have to put 25% down. So even if I get good financing, I'm gonna have to put 2.5 million down. And that's all the kind of cash I have and I don't really wanna like spend all of my money on that, so, I gotta work on my business, I gotta raise my cash flow, and I gotta put myself in the position to even take advantage of that financing. But that's the goal, because like I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. We gotta keep our debt down, uh, we got to get our cash flow up, and we gotta have goals and we gotta have plans. Because like I said, I'm kinda frankly sick of the I'm a millionaire stuff when you gotta go out and finance a car cause you don't have enough cash. I mean, it's it's 100% laughable. And the whole option like, well, my cash is invested. Let me go ahead and destroy that lie right now. 75% of the people in this country don't make $60,000 a year. 90% of the people in this country don't make 100K. Who are all these people who cannot pull their cat? They essentially, we're talking like a very small percentage of people in the country who have those financial situations where their cash is invested in something and it would cause a disruption. But the same group of people, if they're business owners, will have a financial device that will create so much cash flow that they could pay cash for a car. They could pay cash for their house. And it's not going to create disaster with their investments. That is one of the biggest lies because essentially I'm, you know, and I'm just sitting here like, hey, I'm gonna finance this car so I can make an additional $2,000 in my investments. Let's, let's do the math on that. So you buy a car, okay, and you finance this car, and the car is gonna depreciate the minute you drive it off the lot. So essentially, the minute you drive, drove it off the lot, you've lost that two to $3,000 that you were making on your investments. And oh yeah, now you have a car payment in interest that you gotta pay on this depreciated asset. Do the math, people, I guarantee you, you come out better paying cash for a car. There ain't no one on this universe that can convince me otherwise. The only reason that I could see you financing a car is if you get a business lease and you're making money with that vehicle. That is the only way I can see. And all of this stuff, I'm financing cars, it's just garbage to me, it's just garbage. But for those of you who want to get on this business track, Go below and get in the art of holding. I'm gonna teach you how to set up a holding company. I'm gonna teach you how to set up operating companies, teach you how to run and start a business. The link is below. And you will get also access to the money management courses for civilians and corporate citizens.
links below. So that's all I got for you guys. I will scream at you in the next one.